The great Texas naturalist Roy Betacek, a close friend of J. Frank Doby, described hearing a mockingbird one morning while camping in the brush country of coastal Texas. Now the master melodist finds his voice. Beginning in a low, almost apologetic strain, he becomes presently vociferous, irritated by hearing certain ineffectual chirpings in the brush. His mood changes, and in a tone of angry protest, I heard him make this plain announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been so much sentimental nonsense repeated by people who should know better to the effect that I take, steal, confiscate, and appropriate to my own use the compositions of other birds, even to the screaming of the raucous and abominable blue jay. There has been so much of this twaddle, and from responsible sources, it seems to me necessary to announce concerning this morning's program that any resemblance you fancy you hear in any part of it to the twitters, squawks, squeaks, trills, pipings, and other vocal efforts of any alleged songster, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Now how's that for a disclaimer? 